State. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently, of all the U.S. indices trading in the upside, Dow is up 670 points, a little over 2%, 2.5% for the S&P, or 96 points, 3% nearly for the NASDAQ 100, 345 points. Russell's up 3.5%, 59. Semi's up 4 and 6 tenths percent, 124. We've got a rally that is going on. However, be careful out here. What do you mean, be careful, Stevie? It's party time out there. Maybe it's party time, but if we go take a look at that uh, NYSE advanced decline oscillator, that's going to be panel number two. What that is, what that represents, that represents the difference between the 39 and 19 period exponential moving average of the advanced decline line. Whew! Now, why is that important? Because right now, as we speak, at 201 in the afternoon, prices sitting at, or the advanced decline oscillator is printing out at 160.61. It is up into that over bought reading not that it can't get higher but is it an overbought reading the question is by day's end will this be kind of a plus 150 failure you have to be careful out here when price gets up to these levels I'm not saying it's like a top of a top but this is where this could be an exhaustion move to the upside out there so you do yes it is great market breath but great market breath alone is not enough this could be where you see some kind of a short-term top out there or maybe more than a short-term top let's go take a look at what's going on inside the cash indices out here we'll switch over to a different screen we'll see that the uh, dow has not made it all the way up to its resistance level in the cash indice that's the june 28th high that's a 31885 in the case of the s p 500 on a cash indice basis that level that's got it clear is 3945 in the case of the ndx 100 out here where would be the high that it needs to clear out there you know Really, the resistance level for the NDX 100 is uh, at 12,265. That's the cash indice. Now, the Russell 2000 is taking on the uh, uh, the uh, uh, bearish engulfing and the Evening Star resistance level formed, and that's at the 1792.60 level, 1798. So that one does look pretty good. Uh, A to B equals C to the upside inside the semiconductor index out here. New York Stock Exchange. That needs to deal with resistance out here at the 15028. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White, is up next. Have a terrific Tuesday, and I'll see you on wonderful Wednesday. Take care.